The year witnessed one of the most talked about fights in recent boxing history, a match that had fans on the edge of their seats from start to finish. It was an all-out war, the kind that had people talking about it as the fight of the year. Virgil Ortiz Jr. faced off against Sari Bahacek, a battle that many anticipated to be intense, and it lived up to every expectation. The close fight saw Virgil attacking relentlessly, making it a war from bell to bell. With Crawford rumored to be next in line for Ortiz, many wondered how this fight would shape up the future. Was this the fight that would cement Ortiz as a top contender for Crawford? The night was filled with excitement and tension, with both fighters giving it their all. Ortiz emerged victorious, but not without controversy. As the new interim WBC super welterweight champion, his win over Bahacek was hard-earned but left many questions unanswered. The fight was filled with non-stop action, so much so that both fighters required hospital visits afterward. Yet, the fight wasn't just about the win, it was about the grueling battle that took place in the ring. Music, Ortiz's victory wasn't easy. He hit the canvas twice during the fight, but managed to secure a majority decision with scores of 114-112 twice and 113-113. It was a close call, with the judges ultimately determining that Ortiz had done enough to edge out his Ukrainian opponent. The knockdowns played a significant role in making the fight so close, but in the end, Ortiz's performance was enough to claim victory. Both fighters deserve immense credit for their efforts. Ortiz showed that he's still a champion, a warrior who fights till the end. On the other hand, Bahacek came prepared, better than ever before, and gave Ortiz a run for his money. Despite the outcome, both fighters left everything in the ring, making this fight one for the history books. The reactions following the fight were mixed, with some praising Ortiz's resilience and others questioning the decision. Virgil Ortiz's win was celebrated, but not without criticism. Tim Chu, a potential future opponent for Ortiz, was among the first to react. Chu, known for his power in the super welterweight division, didn't shy away from expressing his thoughts on the fight. Man, that was a cracker of a fight, Chu said. Ortiz and Bahacek really gave it their all. It was non-stop action, and both showed the kind of heart that makes boxing so special. Chu acknowledged the fight's excitement, noting that it was far more thrilling than many of the highly promoted matchups of the year. He emphasized that Ortiz's victory, though hard fought, was a result of resilience and skill. Ortiz was knocked down twice, but he wasn't robbed, Chu stated. The decision was fair, and Ortiz's ability to rally back in the later rounds made the difference. Chu also reflected on the unpredictability of boxing, emphasizing that anything can happen in the ring. You never know in boxing, he said. One punch can change everything, and with those two knockdowns, it could have gone either way. But Ortiz showed his grit by finishing strong. The Australian fighter also speculated on what might have happened if he were in Ortiz's shoes. If that was me in there, it would have been a cracker, Chu said, appreciating the fight's intensity and the lessons Ortiz would take away from it. This fight will only make Ortiz better. He's got the power and the heart, but now he knows what it's like to be in there with someone who can push him to his limits. That's what it takes to be great in this division. As Ortiz celebrated his victory, his trainer, Robert Garcia, revealed that Ortiz had to be taken to the hospital as a precaution. Garcia explained that the Nevada State Athletic Commission insisted on the hospital visit due to the fight's intensity and the two knockdowns Ortiz endured. Virgil was fine, Garcia said. He walked to the ambulance and everything, but the commission said it's best for him to get checked out at the hospital. The precautionary measure highlighted the fight's toll on Ortiz, but Garcia emphasized that Ortiz was in good spirits and not showing any signs of serious injury. The hospital visit was purely a safety protocol, ensuring Ortiz's health was thoroughly assessed after such a grueling battle, Garcia added. Meanwhile, Ryan Garcia took to Twitter to share his thoughts on Ortiz's performance against Bahachuk. In a series of tweets, Garcia expressed his dissatisfaction with Ortiz's victory, feeling that the fight could have gone the other way. Garcia reminded his followers of his personal history with Ortiz, stating, Y'all understand I've never lost to Virgil Ortiz. That's just facts. Garcia continued to critique Ortiz's performance, arguing that it wasn't convincing enough to earn the victory decisively. 
He did not take that from the champion, Garcia tweeted, suggesting that Ortiz's performance lacked the dominance needed to clearly win the fight. He also voiced his support for Biahacek, saying, Ukraine won that or a draw, indicating that the fight was too close to be called a clear victory for Ortiz. Garcia was particularly critical of Ortiz's defense and the damage he sustained during the fight. Got dropped twice, got hit with right hands that you can see coming, face messed up, Garcia tweeted, highlighting Ortiz's vulnerabilities. In his final tweet, Garcia issued a stern reminder to Ortiz saying, don't talk like you are someone that's unbeatable when this fight is close. Garcia's tweets reflected his competitive nature and willingness to call out his peers when he feels it's necessary. While he acknowledged the toughness of the fight, his comments clearly indicated that he wasn't sold on Ortiz's performance and believed that the outcome was far from a decisive victory. But Ryan Garcia wasn't the only one with strong opinions. Bernard Hopkins also weighed in on Ortiz's victory, praising Ortiz's grit and determination, but questioning whether the young fighter was ready for the likes of Terence Crawford. Ortiz is a warrior he showed heart and power, but I wanted to see him step up in this fight and show that he's ready for the big dogs like Crawford," Hopkins remarked. Hopkins, a former middleweight and light heavyweight champion, emphasized that Ortiz's performance, while commendable, exposed vulnerabilities that would be dangerous against an elite fighter like Crawford. You can't ignore the fact that Ortiz got dropped twice, Hopkins said. Crawford's a guy who capitalizes on every mistake, and you can't afford those kinds of lapses against him. Hopkins expressed disappointment, as he was particularly excited about the potential clash between Ortiz and Crawford. I've been waiting for a fight like Ortiz versus Crawford, Hopkins said. A fight where a young lion tries to take out the top dog, but right now Ortiz needs to work on a few things before he can realistically step in the ring with Crawford. Despite his critique, Hopkins remained optimistic about Ortiz's future, acknowledging his potential and the valuable experience gained from such a tough fight. This was a learning fight for Ortiz, and he's going to come back stronger, Hopkins said. But Crawford is on another level, and if Ortiz wants that fight, he's got to show that he's ready. The fight left fans and pundits alike with plenty to talk about. It was a battle that showcased the heart and power of both fighters, with Ortiz ultimately emerging victorious. But the questions surrounding Ortiz's readiness for the elite level remain, and only time will tell if he can rise to the challenge. What do you think of the fight? Can Ortiz put up a fight against Crawford? Share your thoughts below, and don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for more updates on the world of boxing. The year witnessed one of the most talked about fights in recent boxing history, a match that had fans on the edge of their seats from start to finish. It was an all-out war, the kind that had people talking about it as the fight of the year. Virgil Ortiz Jr. faced off against Sari Bahacek, a battle that many anticipated to be intense, and it lived up to every expectation. The close fight saw Virgil attacking relentlessly, making it a war from bell to bell. With Crawford rumored to be next in line for Ortiz, many wondered how this fight would shape up the future. Was this the fight that would cement Ortiz as a top contender for Crawford? The night was filled with excitement and tension, with both fighters giving it their all. Ortiz emerged victorious, but not without controversy. As the new interim WBC super welterweight champion, his win over Bahacek was hard-earned but left many questions unanswered. The fight was filled with non-stop 